happiness is uh, unfortunately and unnecessarily so elusive because we've attached the craziest notion to it that until we're complete, you know, until we have this or go there or whatever our rules are, we can't properly be happy. But in my view, uh, it is a, a trait of the immortal, uh, an aspect of consciousness itself, this divine sense of incompletion that we are all blessed with. We don't know all that. We have this sense of incompletion. We think, dang, everyone else has got it all figured out, but I don't have uh, you know, a, a relationship yet. I still have credit card debt. I still have to lose weight. You know, I'm so not right. I'm so not ready. It's like, <clears throat> whatever it is you want, you're going to get. But in that moment, it'll be replaced by the next thing you want. And this is not a curse. This is what gets you out of bed every morning. This is a trait of the immortal. This is uh, something we have in common, if you will, not to externalize God, but with God itself. God's not done. God feels incomplete. And we are God's expression, if you will, trying to become more complete as we delve into this stage called the jungles of time and space where we get to learn and grow and do things that could not have happened otherwise. The point being here, and this will sound like a double play here, is that um, none of us will ever have all that we want. It's a given. It's, it's a law. We will never have. doesn't mean you won't have, you won't eventually get what you now want, but then you'll immediately have new stuff that you don't have but you want. In other words, all of us will always want stuff, intangible or intangible, love or whatever, want stuff that we don't yet have. That's never going away. That day of completion doesn't arrive. That would be true death in the most morbid sense. Therefore, if you can get it, and I know everyone can get it, but they think, yeah, well, once I lose the weight, I'll play. It's like, no. If you can get it, that means there's a space to learn how to be happy with who you already are and what you already have, even as you strive to become more, to do more, to, to discover and conquer and, and move your life forward. There doesn't have to be this either or. Uh, no more putting your happiness on the back burner until you do X, Y, Z, because X, Y, and Z will always be replaced with the next, the next X, Y, and Z. And, and to folks listening now, <clears throat> this means now. This means today. I know that there's lions and tigers and bears in everyone's life. This is, this is what I'm speaking of. But when you put it in proper perspective, they're not lions and tigers and bears. They're, they're promises. They're wish. They're gifts waiting for us to be come more than we've ever been before. And if you have that perspective on those unpolished areas of your life right now, you can... Uh, see them and smile and say, well, I'm going to get to that and I'm going to perfect that. And meanwhile, let me enjoy the journey. Let me enjoy uh, the two arms and two legs and the speaking tongue that I have or the shirt on my back because it is there and it is an achievement and, and we all have so much more to be proud of and pleased with than otherwise. <laughs>